Hello again fellow modelers, Armando here with DLC Model Builders and uh, I'm beginning a new build on my superhero build series. Uh, for my next uh, superhero I have decided to do Daredevil. Uh, for a while now I've been looking for a decent uh, Daredevil kit. I had found a uh, uh, recast of the Bowen uh, figure on the pedestal which is about one eighth scale I believe. But I wasn't very happy with that one, and I had my eye on this one. I'd seen it. I'd seen it built up before. This is a one-six scale uh, Daredevil from Resin Realities. Uh, back again, and as I was saying, this is a one-six scale Daredevil from Resin Realities. Uh, pardon the interruption from before. As you can see, there's been a lot of progress since uh, last night's uh, installment. Um, my good friend Boyd Crompton called on Uvu and uh, we got to talking and lost track of time. I just kept building and next thing I knew uh, the base for the most part was built. Uh, I'll go over what I did, don't worry. Um, and I put them together. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done so you'll, you'll get to see a lot of that progress. Anyway, uh, this is a long out of production kit. Um, it's uh, a lot nicer than the previous uh, that, then the other kit that I'd found, that uh, Bowen uh, uh, figure recast, which is a smaller scale too, more definition and a cooler, uh, a cooler pose. The uh, base, as you see, that's how it's built up, and he's supposed to sit on here, sort of like jumping over the base. Uh, the um, base also has a column here. I guess it's like a smokestack and uh, some crushed cans uh, which I'll strew they're supposed to be strewn all over the floor and I'll do that and this is his, uh, his uh, baton uh, holster which goes here and uh, then the uh, I guess nunchucks for lack of a better term with a wire they're actually made of metal anyway uh, what I did was I um, I chose uh, the buildup that I've seen on the clubhouse this was lighter but I wanted it to be a bit more of a slate gray so I painted the parts separately and then using the lightning technique I took a lighter version of the slate gray and sprayed the centers this is a good technique to enhance the bricks or uh, uh, brick surfaces that you might want to um, make them look uh, more weathered. I did the same with the bricks. I chose a uh, brick red and uh, I sprayed in the center after adding a little white to the uh, color to lighten it and that gives me a uh, more of a worn appearance to the uh, to the bricks themselves as you can see which is pretty nice. This is by no means finished. Uh, the gargoyle I painted with the same tone as this um, there's unevenness, but then again, this is a, an old building on the top of uh, Hell's Kitchen in, in New York, and uh, uh, it's going to be cracked and out of uh, unevenness and all, so I'm okay with that. I'll, I'll be using uh, um, secret weapon pigments on this to weather it, probably uh, uh, exhaust black and ash gray to, to blend in a lot of these details and enhance the cracks between the, uh, the bricks. Uh, so as to make it uh, look old and weathered like it's been in a city getting smoke from the uh, mufflers of cars and, and from chimneys and such uh, over the years. So oh, that's that's a problem right there I didn't realize. Huh. Okay I'll have to paint that. Huh. You discover things don't you? Okay. Anyway um, for the most part that's built. I pinned the this solid uh, piece and this solid piece but I did not pin the tops. They're solid as a rock though. The CA glue really got them and the gargoyle is nice and solid too. Now as far as he's concerned major seams as you can see especially here in the left thigh um, and the left arm uh, which are going to have to be dealt with. These are so big. This one's so big that I'm thinking I might use some Aves epoxy because it is structurally more of a support material than putty uh, although this feels pretty solid 
we'll see. Um, for this, I think I'll just use putty. It'll be fine. Um, I've already started some puttying and some uh, sanding of the uh, contact flash. There's still some left, as you can see, right there. That's going to have to be sanded down. As I apply the putty, I'll do that. These are supposed to be blended in so that the seams don't show, but then again, you also have folds on the uniform, so I'll, I'll try and sculpt something so it looks like there's folds there and it, it helps me to hide the, uh, the seam a little better. Uh, anyway, this is a I've always wanted a daredevil. This is a really cool one. I'm very happy I got it. And uh, it's coming along swimmingly so far. Uh, um, I'm thinking I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and get some more work on, done on him tonight. Uh, aside from the other builds I have. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this one. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Well, I've... Uh, filled in the seams. I used Abe's epoxy sculpt. Here's what's left over. There's the two uh, ingredients. And I filled in the big uh, structural areas that uh, needed to be reinforced. And then I went ahead and I applied putty over it. I'm waiting for it to dry now. So you can see for the most part the seams are filled in pretty well. Over here I chose not to uh, eliminate the uh, the crease but rather incorporate by using Aves Epoxy and sculpting part of the crease of the pants there to hide that uh, area. I'll just sand it smoother and it'll look like it's part of the folds and over here I will uh, just sand and putty and sand and putty until I get a nice smooth result. Uh, still got a lot of work to do over here, but uh, I think it'll come out nice. Uh, with some of the leftover Aves, I went went ahead and put uh, a smoke wisp or fog wisp onto the smokestack here, which I will paint uh, like a white or a gray once it's dry. And the smokestack, I'll, I guess I'll paint like a metallic color of some kind. Um, and uh, now I'll do the cans. I guess one of them will be a Coca-Cola can and another one a beer can of some kind. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Anyway, come right along. Talk to you soon. Well, I've uh, filled in the seams. I used Abe's epoxy sculpt. Here's what's left over. There's the two uh, ingredients. And I filled in the big uh, structural areas that uh, needed to be reinforced. And then I went ahead and I applied putty over it. I'm waiting for it to dry now. You can see for the most part the seams are filled in pretty well. Over here I chose not to uh, eliminate the uh, the crease but rather incorporate by using Aves Epoxy and sculpting part of the crease of the pants there to hide that uh, area. I'll just sand it smoother and it'll look like it's part of the folds and over here I will uh, just sand and putty and sand and putty until I get a nice smooth result. Uh, still got a lot of work to do over here, but uh, I think it'll come out nice. Uh, with some of the leftover Aves, I went went ahead and put uh, a smoke wisp or fog wisp onto the smokestack here, which I will paint uh, like a white or gray once it's dry. And the smokestack, I'll, I guess I'll paint like a metallic color of some kind. Um, and uh, now I'll do the cans. I guess one of them will be a Coca-Cola can and another one a beer can of some kind. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Anyway, coming right along. Talk to you soon. Okay, he's primered. All the seams are done and he's pre-shaded. Um, 
Let's see here. You can see that uh, the Ace Epoxy worked well for the uh, creating and extending the uh, bunching up effect of the pants there to hide the uh, the seam. And on the arms, well, the appreciating also gets in the way, but uh, it looked great. It, it hid the whole thing, and uh, everything is fine. Uh, pardon the noise, I got some friends on here on Uvu. Uh, anyway, uh, now comes the uh, base color, the red. And we'll see how it turns out. Talk to you soon. Another update on the man without fear, Daredevil. He's almost finished. I, uh, I finished all the painting. Uh, and I've coated him with the Krylon satin. Enhanced the uh, DD on his chest with a very fine tip uh, black marker and then coated him. Uh, for the nunchucks I use the wire that's provided and the uh, metal the metal uh, uh, rods, little rods and CA glue. This thing is shapeable. I can bend it any way I want. Uh, I primered it with metal. Uh, for the face, I use Garage Kit uh, US uh, paints. Uh, most of the other painting was Spies Hecker, and uh, I used white Tamiya on the eyes. Um, and the base is finished. Now I'm uh, trying to engineer how to uh, set him up here so he sits the way he's supposed to. He's supposed to sit like that. Uh, obviously, he's going to need pinning. Uh, I'm going to See, it'll probably be best if I sit him like that. I'll uh, I'll use a large, uh, well, not large, but uh, relatively thin, but uh, uh, thicker than a nail uh, screw, obviously, like I did with Flash, and I'll have to drill it at an angle. Uh, <clears throat> and I'll also put an accessory pin on his left uh, left leg to reinforce him. Um, as you can see, I did some crush cans. That's a Corona can, and that's a Coca-Cola can. The smokestack. I tried to do the smoke uh, wisp. I don't know how successful I was, uh, but I'll leave it. Let people guess. <laughs> and uh, we'll see. Uh, let me uh, let me get done going with the um, with the base. Penny and uh, we'll see what I can come up with. Anyway, talk to you soon. Well, here's what I've come up with. Um, I drilled a hole. This is sort of like what I did with the flash, almost exactly the same. An oblique hole up his foot into his ankle. Big enough, uh, I enlarged it uh, gradually, big enough to fit a machine screw. Um, a larger one. I started with a smaller size first, but it was just too short. I needed more length to give more support, so I used one of these. Uh, then I went ahead and drilled a hole on the base, and it was also an oblique hole, obviously. And I cored out enough space for the head of the screw. So let me show you guys. He, he sits on it very well. I'm, I'm very happy with the way it sits. Um, the screw goes in very nicely. I put a little piece of styrene here to even out the base because uh, the, it wasn't completely flat and it was wobbling a little bit. Now it's solid as a rock. It doesn't move. Um, there's a screw. So he'll be sitting on it. Like that. with his left leg on the wall and as you can see almost without gluing or anything he's stable enough to leave standing of course I'll be doing gluing I'll, I'll do CA glue here now I had thought about using a small nail on the tip of his uh, left foot but I think I'll get away with uh, just a drop of glue so you don't see it that way I don't because it's going to be hard to hide a nail or even a paper clip you would have been able to see it so and this provides enough stability that if this one is nice and rigid with a big screw and glued and then a tip of glue here I don't think he's going anywhere and that's how he'll sit 
As you can see, a very dynamic pose. He's about to leap over the uh, over the wall. Beautiful kit. So let's get that done, and I'll come back with a final result. The man without fear is finished. Daredevil. I went ahead and uh, glued him in place with the nail. I mean the screw, machine screw and uh, did not do anything with the left toes uh, because I didn't need to, it's, it's pretty stable. Uh, I did add a small piece of sprue, black sprue back there. I jammed it, uh, I jammed it between the sole of the, the ball of his foot and the, the crack on the pavement and, and with some CA glue and secured it to add a little more uh, rear rigidity because he was he was a little bit too flexible backwards I mean he was rigid but he was swinging a little bit slightly and I wanted him even more rigid after all the main support is the 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 nail which which goes obliquely into his ankle so it tended to create a situation where he was sort of like that very slight but uh, I wanted more rigidity so I went ahead and put the sprue you can see it right there it's a little piece of black sprue you can't see it from any other location. It, it almost looks like a piece of debris that he's stepping on. And as a result, he feels perfect. Uh, I really like this uh, this figure. It, uh, it came out very nice. I'll do some uh, beauty shots in the office when I choose a location for him and have the final video for you guys. Uh, I love the... Uh, the nunchucks. You can pose them uh, hanging like that in the air and uh, he's got a very dynamic pose. He's about to leap over the uh, over the wall so very cool daredevil. Happy I got him. Happy I, I did him. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the build. Talk to you later.